Hello, everybody. Uh, I had a Facebook post this morning, and uh, basically it come from uh, some lies being spread about me uh, and, and the story, trying to discredit, you know, the evidence. And, uh, you know, and, and and I was sitting here, you know, thinking it, it's, it amazes me with just the the totality of the amount of evidence is just incredible. I mean, it's mind-boggling how much evidence is here, and and yet yet these attacks never stop. You know, I mean, it should be easy to see that this gang's murdered multiple people besides trying to kill me in my home. And and so anyway, that was a part of where you know I started with this Facebook post right here. Doesn't it make sense that those spreading lies to cover up the crimes here are on the side of the pedophiles from the underground parties? You know, and that, of course that's a question, you know, uh, that I was asking out there. And, and then I followed that up right here with, uh, after I was ambushed and shot by somebody under my home, proof shows that right there, that's not up for discussion. I secretly recorded this woman telling me there were four three bedroom underground homes here that cost over a million dollars each and they were having pedophile parties down there. Her story was, was then collaborated by many other people, including a recent candidate for sheriff named Joe Lozano. I secretly recorded him telling me that those underground homes was the hideout for the late sheriff, Gary Painter. It's also believed where the oil show parties went. Another woman named Rhonda Denman Rogers told me that an underground facility is a half block away. And yet another woman named Layla O'Brien was documented saying that she worked on this underground project, which was called Safe Houses and had a budget of $7.35 million. She said they were finished in 87 and believe that the Bushes were connected with them. Bush Sr. was vice president back then, and this is the hometown of the Bushes. There are others who are on record as saying that tunnels and underground homes are here, so I'm 100% convinced that pedophile parties were going on there too. And this is just a real short clip out of, out of the Million Dollar Underground Facilities video. It's like a one minute clip there. Right, right, the pedophile parties. Yes. And and then I yes. and see, or a couple of weeks you probably read all this before, but a couple of weeks after I got out of the hospital, that ex-wife comes by my home and she says, "You don't know how many lives you ruined with your idiocy." And and of course my idiocy was staying home and minding my own business. You know I'm shot inside my home, and uh, yeah. but what she was saying was a lot of people were here and 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 they're going to have their lives ruined. And, and Do you know about how many feet that that gun uh, pushed through? That, that the ground it was because he said that these houses are twenty five feet under, at least twenty five exactly. Okay, and and so uh, you know you can see what I'm saying here. She, I recorded her telling me they were having pedophile parties there, along with specific details. You know, she didn't say it was a two bedroom home. She didn't say it was a five bedroom home. She said it was a three bedroom home. She didn't say they were twenty three foot deep. She said they were twenty five foot deep. She didn't say there was eighteen of them. She said there was four of them. There was specific details, and that's collaborated by multiple other people. And and you know, and so my next comment was her story was then collaborated by many any other people, including a recent candidate for sheriff named Joe Lozano. I secretly recorded him telling me that these underground homes was the hideout for the late Sheriff Gary Painter. Here's that video. You can listen to it if you want. Another woman named Rhonda Denman Rogers who told me that the underground facility is a half block away. Here's a print screen right there where I, it was already on the screen a while ago where she's telling me it's a half block away. And I'm showing a half block away is an empty field right here. has a water well in it. And, and, uh, and a home next to it has a mortar problem. Well, my home had a, the same mortar problem and there's a water well next to it. You know, So I wonder if one of the other four underground homes isn't in that vacant lot right there half block away. And yet another woman named Layla O'Brien was documented saying that she worked on this project, which was called Safe Houses. Okay, that's an interesting term, right? Safe Houses, and had a budget of seven point three five million. She said they were finished in nineteen eighty seven, and believed that the Bushes were connected with them. Bush Senior was vice president back then, and this is the hometown of the Bushes. Well, you can see why a vice president of the United States might have safe houses built in, in his hometown. You know, I mean, that, and here's what she's saying. But that collaborates what was what was also said. 
said, and collaborates the woman that said they were having pedophile parties down there. Okay, There are others who are on record as saying these tun that Tunnels Underground homes are here. So I'm one of them who convinced that pedophile parties were going on there too. You know, and here at the, here's a Google map that's showing Ricky Ronaldo here. When I was a kid, there were tunnels under the house. Me and my brother used to go down there. And you look here at the Google Earth map pictures. Here's my home right here. Here's where I was ambushed and shot by somebody under my home. And directly behind my home, you can see back here behind Home Depot, it looks like where the ground was cut, where a tunnel ditch was cut, going directly towards my house. Of course, of course over here in the backyard is where it's believed one of them underground homes are, is at. Okay. And then another woman suggested that I look up my address on Google Maps, and to my surprise, I see a large facility in my backyard that can't be seen from above ground. Obviously, that is one of the four underground homes and where the young girl was murdered at during the 2010 All Show Party. Obviously, this is where the pedophile parties were gone, and obviously, that is why so many people are spreading lies to cover up the many sick and inhumane, inhumane crimes that are being committed here. Okay, and so you can do this for yourself. Go to maps.google.com, put in my address, 3802 Fair Circle, Midland, Texas. Look at the map screen. Look at the a satellite screen and look in the backyard and you see that large uh, three bedroom underground home in my backyard? Well, that's what I think it is. I think it's, it's not there on the satellite. So I think it's one of the four underground homes that I was told about on that phone call we listened to, okay? But then you have all these other people that collaborated, uh, you know, that same story. So, I mean, I, con I consider it a fact. And then my friend in... Uh, in 2010 told me about a young girl that was murdered at an oil show party within five minutes of my house. I believe it was in the underground homes of facilities and in 2013 the remains of a 14 to 21 year old girl was found outside of Midland. Obviously that's the girl I believe she was probably murdered in, the, in that underground home in my backyard where they were having pedophile parties and wouldn't it be interesting if she was 14 years old and not 21 you know and, and, and so then that would, that would fit the description of pedophile parties, right? Okay. And here's uh, uh, here Jamie here says, I believe it, but I, I have no proof that pedophile parties are going on here. I don't. All I have is a recorded phone call of a woman saying that with other specific details which were collaborated by multiple people. Credible witnesses, too. But when I look at the totality of the evidence, then I'm convinced. I've wondered if it was connected with the large group of swingers in the area because a swinger group in East Texas got busted for having sex with children. It makes sense they know each other and I'm sure that they thought nobody would find out it happens under my home. I've found other evidence supporting this theory. I have a, I have a video called Underground Swinger Parties and Silly Pills and, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you that right now. Good morning, Midland, Texas. Buddy Webb here. Uh, got a got a short video that uh, I think you're going to find real interesting. It, it may answer uh, uh, some questions about the the many crimes, the, the unprecedented lawlessness that that's been going on that that we've all seen. The obstruction of justice and and and. Um, the proven premeditated uh, capital attempted murder of my life, the suspected uh, multiple other murders, the murder of the last homeowner, uh, the suspected murder, of the, the, there's a little girl at the old show party, uh, and the multiple people saying there's tunnels, underground facilities here, documented, looks like Google Maps has shown one in my backyard. Uh, we got multiple. We got people, multiple people in, over Midland, Odessa, Texas, and, and other states reporting people in the attic. I reported somebody in my attic a year before uh, my phone lines were cut, and I was shot, you know, by somebody under my home. And uh, and even more than that, I had reported a suspected tunnel going from my home to a secluded truck unloading lane. I believe human trafficking uh, and or drug trafficking was going on at a nearby trucking lane, and. Uh, and the DA didn't look, and two weeks later I'm ambushed and shot. And, and so, you know, a lot of people are wondering if, you know, people at the DEA are not setting up uh, uh, citizens who report crime to be murdered. I mean, that's what really what it looks like. And nobody will investigate it. The press is involved, obviously. And, you know, and it's even been questioned, that, you know, the same thing that happened to Epstein, uh, where they had information, you know, you know, that's real famous in the news, right, where, where the reporter was complaining because she had the story. She had the Clinton. She had Epstein five years ago go and the press wouldn't report it you know and and that's kind of what's going on here i mean underground facility suspected uh 
I was told on a recorded phone call they're having pedophile parties down there, million dollar underground facility. Uh, you know, uh, oil show parties would be million, billion dollar companies, you know, and so uh, uh, very possible, you know, that there's the connection uh, where, where bribes are being paid to law enforcement and to, uh, you know, judges and, you know, district attorneys, I, all of it, you know, to, to cover up the multiple murders that are going on here in the face of just incredible evidence. This story here today, and, and, and actually I posted a, a Facebook post yesterday called Large Group of Swingers in Midland, and, and I, I shared a, a news story that I went and found, I was familiar with, that happened I think in 2004, 2005, and it was about a swingers group in uh, up by Dallas at this little town of 5,000 people, Mineola or something like that, and and they were drugging these kindergarten age children and and having them dance and having sex with them and this was people in a swingers party okay well that there was a connection here i've su suspected that possibly swingers in in midland odessa west texas were using the underground facility here that would explain the pedophile parties that i was told about and 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 i and so I, i'm gonna tell you a few stories about that I, i'm, I'm going to read this what I wrote and but but I know uh, before I even move from Hobbs and and I believe that uh, you know I transferred here from Hobbs New Mexico in 2008 my hometown and I took a transfer with my company as 25 year company man at the time and but before I I transferred had my home up for sale uh, a, a woman comes by there in my house to just look at my house not to buy it to look at it and 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 then and told me that now, we're just looking at houses that are for sale or whatever and but i had known the room through the rumor mill that this was a person that was head of the swingers club over there in in hobbs new mexico okay that was before i come here and then and then i know another friend of mine one time and uh this was also before i moved here and and we were coming over from lubbock to back to hobbs and uh and she went way out of her way over by denver city out there in the country it's a little another load of town over there and to show me this bar where they had swinger parties for whatever reason i have no idea but i got a feeling it was connected to the crime ring i mean she we went way out of our way to go over there to see this little bar of course it was closed or whatever we didn't go in it but we drove by it and she showed me pointed out this little bar or by Denver City and told me that's where the swingers meet or whatever okay and I'm sure there's probably people that know this they're from that area have heard these stories and and so then even here and you know I'm I'm shot and I'm told all this and and I know uh, recently I was rudely told to shut up, don't tell my story by this woman, okay? And that that's in the antique business here. I won't name her. And but uh, I mean, very rude, you know. Obviously, she was a, you know desperate to stop me from uh, you know trying to see justice get served, solve these multiple murders, etc. And I remember that she had told me uh that that uh, uh she used to be a teacher and she had a student that lived in the tunnels by my house okay and i questioned her on that I said didn't you tell me that didn't you tell me I, she's telling me to shut up right and and i'm like didn't you tell me that you had a student that lived in the tunnels by my house well yeah I said, well, then that makes you a witness. I, I might subpoena you. Uh, I might subpoena you, and because you now you're a witness un, to the premeditated capital murder attempt on my life, tens of thousands of burglaries and all these other crimes I described, not to mention these other suspected murders. And so there. And but then later, just a couple of weeks later, somebody that that knew her was telling me that she was a swinger. I'm going. Maybe that's why she didn't want me to tell my story. And and so there was another one. And so uh, in 2010, and you can Google this, here in Midland, uh, there was going to be a swingers convention. It was in the news. I, I, I found the news story. I posted it here. I'm going to show you that here in a minute. The Midland Reporter Telegram posted that in 2010 that that this swinger group was had rented the Marriott Hotel for fifty thousand dollars whatever and they were going to do a hotel takeover they were going to have seminars for and, and even wrote in the news article for all ages lifestyle for all ages okay I mean let that sink in okay all ages as in kindergarten kids okay 
and that's how I read it, you know. And but anyway, there is a uh, because it hit the press and everything, then then the the motel canceled. It didn't happen. But what it showed, what there was, it that and it says in the article, there's a large group of swingers in this area. Okay, and so I'm I'm just asking, you know, was this large group of swingers having underground parties, and was this connected to the capital murder attempt of my life, and 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 or the murder of the guy that lived here before me, and the little girl at the old show party who was murdered because she refused to prostitute, and you could see how that connection would work there. And so, anyways, I, the Facebook post that had 200 some odd shares, 225 shares this morning, still going. And it says, large group of swingers in Midland in the windowless front rooms of a former daycare center in the tiny Texas community, children as young as five were fed powerful painkillers they knew as silly pills and forced to perform sex shows for a group of adults. Two people have already been convicted in the case. Now a third person with ties to the club, previously known in town only as a swingers group, is set on trial Monday, not from Mineola population 5100 so by dallas i just read that that's a cbs uh, news story i think and and then i went on i said i secretly recorded a woman on the phone telling me she was told about pizza or pedophile parties going on the four three bedroom million dollar underground homes here and i wondered if this was connected with a large group of swingers in the area and then you know and then i put a, a link to that to that video and and that's so everybody could hear that uh uh and, and, and I might even play that here in a minute. It's well known that Midland has a large swingers group and is in contact with swingers across Texas. The Midland Reporter Telegram reported in 2010 that a swingers group originally had a contract renting the entire Courtyard Marriott and had paid a, a deposit of 50000 or more. Midland County District Attorney Teresa Klingman, she was the district attorney when I was ambushed and shot, said... Uh, said, but the hotel canceled it after public found out. A Midland couple previously scheduled to conduct sexual seminars at the Midland Swingers event referred a reporter to group member George Long, who would only say he was a north he was in north central Texas. This was all in the newspaper. I'm 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 quoting the newspaper. Long said he Long said he was extremely disappointed at having it canceled, the swingers party. The reason we picked Midland is because there's a huge lifestyle community in West Texas. Long said he would not say how many people were expected at the convention. The same article, as I said a minute ago, goes on saying they were having seminars, lifestyle seminars for all ages. Okay, and you can read that in the middle. And I'm going to put the links to these news stories at the bottom of this when I post this video. I was recently told about a woman in the antique business, and I just told you about that, and that that I was told she was a swinger, and she was the one that was was uh, so rude and desperate to stop me from telling my story. She doesn't want these murders solved. She don't want the underground facility exposed it don't matter how much evidence there is and then somebody else told me that she's a swinger and that's where I wondered huh, I wonder I was told a lot of people were here when I shot and and actually the ex-wife after I shot I got out of the hospital comes by she says you don't know how many lives you run with your idiocy my idiocy I'm home my, my own business you know I've been reporting crime to law enforcement you know I'm the good citizen risking my life trying to make Midland a safer place right you know and here I'm home by myself they come to my home with guns these are cold-blooded killers pointed their gun at me when I wasn't looking cut my phone line pulled the trigger you know listen to me scream for help waiting for me to die and she's saying I ruin lives how could I ruin lives you know I'm home on my own business you know they're the ones that came out of their way to kill me you know and I'm sure they killed the guy before me but the other part of that you don't know how many lives you ruined well that's a lot of people where, where are these lot of people they're in the underground facility in the backyard that's where they were at right and what were they doing there that's going to run their lives if it's found out well there we go now we're back into the pedophile parties and is it connected to this large group of lifestyle swingers you know that have seminars for all ages you know i mean i'm just asking questions here right but these seem to be pretty legitimate questions any swingers in the area want to speak up you know go ahead speak up you know i mean this is all public information you know that i'm quoting here and we're trying to stop crimes make midland a safer place okay and uh and uh so anyways, I, and then I finished up all these, 
What do those people do in their business until they start involving children? What those people do in their private business, okay? And them swingers, they got the right to do whatever they want to do, you know, in their bedroom, whatever. But until they start involving children or breaking into private homes and killing people. Okay, and then and then and then it's my business. It's your business. It's all of our businesses. Instead of the, and you know, when as soon as soon as they start giving little five-year-olds silly pills in windowless rooms or underground facilities, then then I care about it, and I think you care about it too. And and so I'm, I'm gonna flip this camera around and, and and just show you real quick, and then end this video. This is the Facebook post that's got all the shares that was so popular from yesterday. Uh, I just read to you the, what I had written, and, and a lot of that was copy and paste from news articles. Large group of swingers in Midland. Hey, you know, that's not Buddy saying it. That's what I read, you know. Kindergarten turned into house of hoarders, uh, horrors. Children as young as five fed painkillers, forced to perform sex shows. And, and so... Uh, you know, you you can go look at that. My my Facebook is under Buddy uh, Wayne Webb. You can look that up in Midland. Uh, it, the URL is uh, uh, Buddy dot Web dot three five three. And then and then the second uh, news article I posted long said lifestyle events attract people of all ages. Okay, and that's in this article where Midland Swingers Convention gets canceled amid, um, amid pressure. And and I read to you just a part of that. Where, where they said that there was a large group of, uh, of these swingers here in West Texas, you know, and, 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 and where they had rented uh, that motel for $50,000 and all that. And then, and, and, and then I put a link to a video, and basically what this is, this is a clip from the recorded phone call where the woman told me about the, uh, the and gave me information about the underground facilities and, and said that there was four three-bedroom homes, 25 foot deep, each costing over a million apiece, okay? And she said they were having pizza or pedophile parties down there. And and uh, and I've had multiple other people uh, talk about these underground facilities. Rhonda Denman Rogers said underground facilities half block away. The first person said anything about underground facility was the ex-wife, and she sternly warned me, these people won't want to give it up, you know? And this is where I believe them, uh, the famous and wild oil show parties were going on. And and you know where the prostitution, drugs, and all that was going on during the Permian Basin International Oil Shows. It's a convention brings in tens of thousands of, of people from all over the world in here because of the oil field, or because of the oil field, and 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 of course it's you know prostitution and conventions isn't something new. I, like I've never heard of that happening before. You know, you know that's how, that's kind of how they act around here. Oh no, I can't even imagine we have a convention and had prostitution going on organizing. It's well known. You know, look at the Super Bowl and 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 even Vegas. You know, and and uh, they have all the conventions up there. And that's what this old show party is. And but the question is where it's going on. And I'm and you know and I was told about a young girl that was murdered at an old show party in 2010 by my friend who was there and uh, because she refused to prostitute. Anyway, this is a, a just a small clip of that phone call. I'll put that link to that whole video in the bottom there and, and we'll even listen to a part of it here in a minute. This right here, uh, and this was recently, a woman says, go to Google Maps and look up your address. You know, and I'm here in Midland, Texas at 3802 Fair Circle, directly behind the Home Depot store. And and, and so I did. And then, of course, I got the block map and the satellite map. And in the block map, what I'm seeing here is this large facility in my backyard, okay? And but I flipped to the satellite map. It's not there. You don't see it from above ground. I can't tell you how many times I've heard noises is on that side of my house, which is the east side of my house. And of course, I was shot on the other side, on the west side of my house, you know. And then there's all the other stories there, I mean, where you could see what looks like big tunnels cut going from Home Depot towards my house. Uh, it, you know, the woman at Home Depot told me one time, you ever see a lot of cars in, in the parking lot late at night? It's because we're stalking, you know. And then, of course, the ex-wife had, had told me in so many words, a lot of people were here when I shot. And so I'm, I'm sitting there wondering, I wonder if that right there in my backyard is one of the four three-bedroom underground homes cost a million apiece and where that little girl was murdered in 2010, you know. And, uh, but as I said earlier, 
it's just been outright lawlessness, you know. And and then I have a video to another. I'll put a link to this video. This one shows the proof. See, it's one thing for Buddy to say, oh, somebody under my home shot me, you know, and, and burglar alarm's going to have an attic. It's a whole other thing when I show you the hard evidence and, and absolute undeniable proof. I have triple proof showing I wasn't shot with my gun. If I ain't shot with my gun, I'm shot with another gun. That means somebody come to my home and shot me, right? And, and I remember telling recently telling an FBI duty agent, that and where we're sitting there and I said can we agree that if I wasn't shot with my gun I shot with another gun and I started naming off the evidence the size of pellets are 2.5 sizes different than what the lab report said was removed from my foot you know the surgeon stated he removed a large amount of plastic from my foot wouldn't be found if I was shot with my gun uh, Lisa Rogers said I was shot with a 45 handgun that fits the space requirements triple proof x-rays were fake and on and on and on and on about the evidence here this is a capital tempted murder is what this is, you know, and, and that's what the lawlessness is talking about. And then here in 2013, the remains of a young girl, 14 to 21, were found outside of Midland. I'll put a link to that at the end of this video, too. I'm suspecting this is the girl I was told about that was murdered at the 2010 oil show party. That was in late October, so this was about a year later, the remains of a young girl's found, you know. And, uh, and and here's a video, I'll, I'll put a link on this one too, and this gives information that law enforcement could use to stop this crime ring, this uh, human trafficking ring, and you know, stop these old show prostitution parties, uh, and solve multiple murders and everything right here. I mean, I'm, I, I, you know, I, I've provided them names, evidence, everything. It, it's absolute lawlessness what's going on here in Midland, Texas. And so uh, I, that, that's what I wanna show you today. I tell you what, the most recent thing here going on Facebook, and you've probably seen this, is the 10-year challenge. I, and, and this is kind of interesting. I took this picture yesterday because uh, in 2009, I took this picture, okay? And and uh, and then yesterday, I took this picture, you know? And I, what I tried to do is do the same picture. And, and, of course, it's not related to the story. But the one thing here... To reminisce, back in 2009, I hadn't reported my first uh, uh, burglar here at the house. I had literally moved for here with hope and excitement. I spent my life savings on, on, on the American dream, on my home, you know. And it's been a nightmare that won't quit, you know. And, uh, uh, you know, my mom was still alive at that time. And it, there's been thousands, tens of thousands of burglars. Actually, I'm sure that the crimes were going on at that time. I just didn't know it, you know. I, I mean, I hadn't figured it out, you know. It, not like they built that million-dollar underground facility in the backyard, you know, while I lived here. I, you know, actually, one woman told me she worked on the project, and it was finished in 1987. And, then, you know, next-door neighbor told me one time, you know, last four people living in your house didn't live there long. <laughs> That's so funny, ain't it? The last one's dead, and I crawled out on my hands and knees to save my life. Buddy Webb, Midland, Texas.